the train. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dark Horse J Kill here bringing you a YouTube commentary video on Call of Duty Ghost here on the Xbox One. This is Search and Destroy on one of your favorite MLG maps. We are playing uh, Clan Wars 4v4 of course, uh, pretty much standard uh, COD Esports rules and I wanted to share this gameplay because I do pretty well. You know, I play very smart in this game. I actually go 5-1 and one by the end of it. Of course, my man, Marty, has to show me up, and you see there that uh, Dixon and I were trying to go to the same spot to camp, and when I walk around this corner, like, why is that kid there? Like, I had no clue that there'd be somebody there, but, you know, smart play by him. He, you know, he knew the bomb dropped. He knew probably somebody would be rushing that way, and what sucks is my team was actually on the other side. I mean, I told him I was, we was going to be planning at the A-bomb because we had, you know, in strategy, we talked about an A-rush. Uh, the only bad thing about this commentary is the kids start... You know dropping out and coming in and everything I think at one point there's actually 2v4 but you know that's one reason I want to upload this video it's like if anybody else has that problem you know you're having these good games and you're going against these kids and you're doing a really good job and then they start dropping out I mean yeah it's an easy win but at the same time it's it's not a lot of fun when people start jumping out of the games and stuff but you know I even saw this I forget which clan it was uh, or team whatever at, at COD Champs, you know, they only had three guys because one guy got stuck in traffic and they wouldn't, you know, give them the, the break to kind of get there. But what I like to do on this map, I like to run up top a lot of times, kind of check out the street. And that's actually where I get a few kills. You're going to see kids trying to rush over to the A-bomb. And I just kind of follow them. You know, he kind of takes cover back here. And I thought for sure he was going to get me. But I didn't want to take the time to reload because I knew if I reloaded, I would not have got that kill. Uh, but nobody else comes by. So, um, obviously, they're planning at B. Um... So I rush over here and figure maybe somebody's still watching coverage back towards the uh, the restaurant and the pond side, but they were not. So I have to rush up with my teammates, and then we actually, you know, knock them out, and then Marty gets the defusal here. But that's one thing I really hate about games is when kids really drop Excellent out like that, goes. especially, you know, when I'm doing good, round. I start feeling good, and then the kids start dropping out, then it's like, Ugh, come on, Switching like sides. like bring people back in. And I mean, it's happened to my team before, too, you know, like we lose people through connection Switching issues, destroy. whatever. And and it really sucks being on that opposing team when that happens destroy because, the you know, then if the other we team, got you know, the got four strong players and then, you know, two of your guys or even just one of your guys jumps out, it really kind of puts you at a disadvantage. You know, some of you guys might like that because maybe you're like beast mode. Um, but real quick, on the B side, anytime we have the B side, I love to go here because there's normally always somebody that's going to be top broken. You know, it's a pretty quick and easy spot for somebody to get to. And I immediately check gas station right after broken. And then obviously there's a guy right here at gas station. I have a few bad shots, but I just wait him out. The same I did for the guy up top because I knew eventually he'd poke his head back out and I'd get that kill. Um, so that's just a couple ways I play this. If I would have played this a little bit quicker, you know, that's another good spot people are nine times out of ten going to go to on this map when you're playing Search and Destroy. Especially competitively, they're always going to try to go to the top strip, you know, because that, that gives you a good overview of the area and kind of gives you that, you know, higher ground advantage. But you see here that Scumbag actually picked him up pretty quick. Um, and this is something we're trying to work on. We're trying to play a little bit more of this, trying to get our, you know, our maps down and stuff. The only problem with uh, playing in clan versus clan, you know, it still brings up other maps, even maps that are not uh, competitive. And then up here, same thing again. I don't know if it's the same guy or not, but I think it was because I think he knew I was going to be waiting for him. But um, that's the only bad thing is, you know, it's kind of hard to practice some of these maps. And how I get this one kill in a moment, I'm not sure if it's this round or the next. I think it's right here, actually. Like, I have no clue how I get this kill. Excellent job, Ghost. That, that's one of the get times the in COD round. where, you know, I didn't have to, have to fear about giving my position away because, um, you know, my whole team's still alive. My team's out there rushing. And then, you know, I was trying to prevent my teammate from dying there. Switching sides. But I knew if I got taken out, my teammate. And see here, you know, there's two guys. And then I think we actually finished Switching the game destroy. with four. But, um, yeah, that's the only bad thing about destroy playing in pubs or... Um, Got the or like this clan versus clan, you know, you still got to play all the map rotations. I wish there was just like a an MLG mode you could go into where it was just you know MLG rules and maps, and that was it. And there wasn't anything else, you know, because I would like to get more practice on the blitz Excellent and job, all Bruce. that without get having to go from round. you know one match to the other 
or whatever because you know trying to play these other maps it really doesn't matter and it's actually just taking valid practice time away which you know that's when we need to start you know pulling in and doing more uh, private parties and start hosting matches with other clans and stuff to try to work our way up because um, it's been a while since we've played together we used to play in a, in a clan called ATR which stood for above the rest gaming and we used to do a lot of competitive playing then and we you know we worked at it hard and pretty much the core four guys you see now are the same ones that were doing it before and this sniper here guys like you know to be by himself against all of us he really rips apart my entire team and so it ends up being a 1v1 I think Marty goes down here um, I think that's Marty that goes down here um, and I was for sure this kid was going to get me because I mean he literally took out my whole team and I'm not the strongest uh, guy on the team to be on a 1v1 so uh, for me to do this you know it was a big deal for me because you know my guys were you know both encouraging me and then Marty I think actually wanted to see me die so the round would go even longer um, so he was giving me I, I think he was giving me some false call outs in order for me to die but you know I was just trying to play it strong trying to you know go the routes that I assumed somebody would be um, I knew he had to be going to B-bomb because, you know, that was the most obvious choice for him. I mean, trying to do an A-rush would, you know, it, it might have been smart. But, you know, I caught him right here, got a pretty quick reaction, and then we win the round uh, 6-0. And that's about it, guys. You know, this was pretty pretty quick commentary. I hope it wasn't too dragged out for you today. It wasn't as exciting as most of the times. But I want to put out a little bit of something more competitive out for you guys to see. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, please be sure to like, comment, share, and just subscribe, all that good stuff. And stay tuned because I got more videos that are going to be pumping out way more soon. My schedule clears up here shortly. Thank you guys again. And as always, let's rage.